morning. We're starting off the day hooking up the homie Carlos on his beard. Follow his Instagram. I'll put it below. Dennis, how old did you say that jam was that was in the fridge? Dennis, clean out the fridge. Two. March 2nd, 2011. Never been up. Just bought it and just kept it in there. Preserved. That's terrible. Morning. Hi there. Hello there. Come on, check out bro's beard. Crispy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big beard gang. <laughs> okay, I just recorded this whole sequence. Had my camera on the wrong setting, and here we go again. So today, I'm going to talk about um, some of my plans for the remodel for the shop. Um, I haven't given you guys a full tour of the shop, I don't think. Um, maybe I have in the past. I don't know. It's different now that it's mine. So, uh, whew. My nose is itching. I'm trying not to sneeze. So I'm gonna show you guys the layout of the shop and kind of what I'm working with, what I need to tear down and remodel. Um, it's it's pretty bad. So um, right now I'm in the back room, as you guys can see, I'm in my chair, my office set up right here. My office is my drink and my jewel pod. But uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the shop and then uh, hopefully you guys can help me decide some stuff to put in the shop and what you guys think would look good. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on it. So that's what we'll, we'll cover today is um, shop layout and all that stuff. And then we'll kind of, I'm going to start drawing up a game plan. I want to start drawing up like actual sketches of how I want the shop to look. Yeah, so right now I'm going to sit on my phone and brainstorm a little bit. Try to look up some ideas and stuff like that. So I will see you guys in a minute. And uh, we should be doing some more haircuts here soon. So let's keep the day rolling, baby. Let's go. Okay, so let's start the shop tour outside. Here's the building. I'm gonna change this. So instead of saying Barber, it's gonna say Teezy's, right? Change the graphics on the windows. I want to replace these with shatterproofs because this area is not too nice. So I don't want my windows broken into. There was a hair salon down there that got broken into. They broke in through her front door and they took all of her products, all of her equipment, all of her bundles of hair, everything. So I wanna replace these all with shatterproofs. I know it's gonna be a little bit of money, bit of money, but I don't care. I also want to re replace this window with someone without a beam in the middle of it so that I can put that graphic right there my, for my barber shop right there. So I've got a guy printing up shop hours right now for this. Can we go in? Okay my station boom floors front entrance shelf okay and then we got the walls we got four chairs up front there's plumbing for two more stations behind that second wall um, I want to replace these countertops with even levels and put different sinks in um, and then the flooring, I already have new flooring. I have to put in, it's hardwood um, pergo flooring. So I want to take this wood paneling off. These walls I think are like stucco or something like that. So I want to sand those down and then maybe put a mural right here or some kind of graphic right here. Um, and then I want to replace this seating with a bench instead of individual seating. Keep the refrigerator, keep the mirrors, keep Dennis. Keep Bill. This is probably been... Okay. Might just do that. There's a ceiling. Lighting in here is pretty good. Um, this will be. Yeah, I seen them. Yeah. This will be my product shelf probably eventually. Um, get a new cash register. Get the square one. Um, bigger TVs eventually, I'm sure. That's not really like a super priority though. Um, it's the back room, one of the back rooms. Currently it's like a makeshift break room kitchen type thing. But there's plumbing here and here. I need to clean out all of this stuff. All of this stuff. Um, plumbing here and here for two more stations but I'm gonna run shampoo bowls there instead of stations. So, but I need to get all of Dennis's shit out of here. What's up, y'all? The third back room. 
This is my office that I showed earlier. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Um, right, so bathroom needs to be cleaned and needs to be remodeled. And new flooring back here too. Repaint the walls. Put a better light. I hate this yellow light. Put a daytime bulb in here. I might do that today actually. Okay, eventually I want all of this to be nice racking and shelving for storage. Um, this area right here, there's a water here. There's a shower there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but eventually I want to knock this out and paint this all white so I can make this a photo shoot section to shoot photos in and um, have like a photo area kind to come back here and just quick take photos real quick but that's pretty much the shop though guys if you guys have any ideas or tips on what you think would look good let me know in the comment section below so uh take one of these and we'll get back to cutting okay so real quick i want to stress the importance of combing through your client's hair before you start your service uh, just now had a kid come in uh, with his mom, wanted to get a haircut, started combing through his hair, and he had head lice. So at that point, what you need to do is calmly and coolly, collectively, pull the parent over, low voice, explain to them, you know. You can you can do the service, it's up to you. I mean, it's it, legally we're allowed to do it. Um, me personally, I don't deal with it because I don't want to have to break down my clippers and the cleaning process is crazy. I have to like separate everything and it's just too much hassle for me. Um, so I just you just inform them that hey, um, I can't diagnose that it's head lice because I'm not a doctor and I'm not a dermatologist or whatever. But um, what you do is you just explain that they have symptoms and signs of head lice and that you recommend getting them treated before you cut their hair. Um, so. In this instance, I said, hey, you know, he, he, I showed her the bugs in his hair. I said, you can go to Rite Aid across the street and pick up a kit and run through it and take care of it at home before we cut his hair. But unfortunately right now, um, I cannot service him until this is treated. Um, you guys are more than welcome to go to a doctor and get a second opinion. But in my professional opinion, he has signs of head lice. So therefore this needs to be treated before moving on from here. They were totally cool, understand it. She was like, I appreciate it, no problem. Um, the kid kind of freaked out a little bit. He's like, I have head lice. And then, luckily there was not a lot of people in here. It was like one person. Um, but I said, no buddy, you just have you know, some stuff mom needs to look at. Um, and he's like, no wonder my head's been itching so bad. So I kind of have a feeling they knew, but I'm not gonna point fingers at anybody. Um, this is part of the industry, part of the, part of the business. So, um, but just an importance, as I was combing through his hair to section out his hair, he had like really long hair, like shoulder length, um, or not shoulder length, but like jawline length. And uh, so I was sectioning his hair out to like do my sections to start my start my cut and uh, notice that. So super important for you guys to pre-comb through your client before you start any services. That saved me from having to cut down my clippers or break down my clippers and clean them out. All I had to do was sacrifice a cape and a comb. So, and then spray everything down with disinfectant. So just important. I was gonna time lapse the cut too. That's what, that's what's crazy. But uh, anyways, back to the day. I know it's kind of a slow day. I've had a couple cancellations today, so right now I don't have anybody until five, and it's like four. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna kick it with these guys. Play my phone. I've been looking on Pinterest for barbershop ideas. I have some ideas for the counters now and the sinks. Um, I still need to figure out what I want to do with that wall. Drop some drop some you know recommendations. What do you guys think would look dope? So let's get back to the video. Just wanted to give you guys those little nuggets real quick. All right, let's go. Okay, so just to clarify on how to, how I sanitize after um, a head lice incident. So typically what I would do is I would break down my clipper, take the blade off, take the housing off, spray everything down, make sure everything is spotless, sanitize everything with barberside and um, clipper side and all that stuff, let it sit for 10 minutes in a clean environment, let it fully disinfect. Um, I have low level barberside in a water bottle or in a spray bottle, spray my chair down, spray the booster seat down, everything, wipe it down, let it sit for 10 minutes, let it disinfect, and then wipe it down again one more time just to be sure. Um, combs, rinse them off as, as good as possible, put them in low level, let them sit for 10 minutes, 
Um, those those will be fine. Make sure there's nothing in them. Um, so that's pretty much the process. Um, the cape, you want to bag that up, take it home, wash it separately, hot, hot water. Um, wash it a couple times. Um, what else am I missing? Sweep up any, I mean, if you did cut any hair, sweep up the hair, bag the hair up, put it outside, don't leave it in the shop. Um, I'm pretty sure that's, that's pretty, Dennis, that sounds about right, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not missing anything? Okay. So, and this, these are, these are legends right here. So, um, yeah, just those are the steps you want to take if you do. Cause like I said, you can cut the hair if you want to, it's up to you. Some people do, you make really good money at it at cutting mice hair. Do what you want to do, but I just want to give you guys some steps on how to properly take care of it if you come across that situation yourself. So, back to the day. So that's the end of the day. Time to pack it up and go home. If you guys have any comments or suggestions on what you guys think I should do with the shop, drop them below. I would love to hear them. And also let me know if my headlights tips helped you out today. I will see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Peace. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hit the red subscribe button too. That'd be dope. All right, peace.